Hello, welcome back, Lions of Judah. We're doing the Temple 420 Bible Study and Torah Tour. We're in Matthew 6. We're going to do a quick flip over to uh, Mark. Yes, Mark 10, 21. So get ready. But before we do that, we must follow what Jesus says. And that's what we're really trying to do is understand what he says. Because at that point, he's Jewish. It's Hebrew. It's Aramaic. At that point, it's a completely different language. And you can only understand it really if you're high and grasp some of the ideas that are planted in your head when you can see that there is a God in heaven who loves you. And if you don't obey him, he's going to kick the shit out of you. He's really not going to kick the shit out of you, but if you are useless to him, guess what? You're still useless. Now, the linen belt is a great story for that one, but we're not there. We're in. First, we seek his kingdom, and then his righteousness, and all of those things we just listed. The clothing, the flowers, the field, the body, the, this, the, uh, the, body, the clothes, the food, the drink, all of it, all of it is condensed into one seed. Do you concede? Do you have an idea? All right. So we're going to be over in the rich in the kingdom of God. Listen, we're going to get to 1021. We're on 17. As Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell to his knees before him. Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered, no one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. Teacher, he declared, all these things I have kept since I was a boy. That's pretty impressive. If he's kept all the commandments. So Jesus looked him, looked at him and loved him for giving such great effort. And then he advised him one more thing. One thing you lack, he said, go sell everything you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. And then... Come follow me and my pleasing aroma as we spread it together. At this, the man's face fell. He went away sad. Face was cast down. Because he had great wealth, the other side of the tree. How does the smell, what does money smell like? Ah, the smell of money, right? It's a tree. So you can use the good side of money, you can use the bad side. You can help with the money with the poor, or what he's really saying is everybody inside, all those cells that are born and die and born and die, if you don't want them to die and linger with cancer, then you clean out your body on the inside with the water that is converted to smoke because we can water a tree and watch the seed grow into a big, beautiful mustard tree or mulberry bush. But if we want to be the tree of life, we have to take care of the inside. And that's what he's saying. Jesus looked around and then said to his disciples, how hard is it for someone, the rich, to enter the kingdom of God? <gasps> it's hard to enter. He asks the question. We should find out what it says. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard is it for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. Let's find out. Baruch Hashem.